Decita just sent us their brand new 13.3 inch Vivid Android 10 head unit. And this model deserves your attention. Not only does it have a completely updated user interface, but it also features a beautiful and massive full HD 1080p capacitive display, built-in navigation, wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. 4 gigabytes of RAM with 64 gigabytes of storage and Bluetooth. What more could you possibly ask for? And the cost is very reasonable for what you're getting. Let's unbox it, power it up, and go over all of its features and then test its performance. This video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. The Ridge completely re-engineered and modernized the wallet rendering the bulky and outdated leather bifold that millions of men carry in their pockets every day ancient. This ain't your dad's wallet for sure. At a fraction of the size, these unique wallets can hold up to 12 cards with room for cash on the built-in money clip. Trust me, your cards and cash have never been more secure. Once they're inside the Ridge, they aren't going anywhere. The Ridge wallets are minimal, industrial, come in over 30 colors and sizes, plus feature a lifetime warranty, meaning they're guaranteed for life. And don't worry about damage or bending, they're insanely durable. Go to ridge.com slash QMV and use our coupon code QMV at checkout for 10% off your order today. Inside the box are mounting instructions. User manual. 13.3 inch full HD display, which mounts directly to the chassis. Power and speaker harness, which will also require an aftermarket wiring harness for connecting to your factory wiring. Two USB cables. One features a USB input for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and the other features two USB inputs for thumb drives and external devices, as well as a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input. RCA preamp output harness for front, rear, and subwoofers, which also features front camera inputs. RCA AV input harness, which also features backup camera inputs Wi-Fi antenna, external microphone, GPS antenna, mounting brackets, several kinds of mounting screws, and a double DIN chassis. There is no disc slot. The rear connections include GPS antenna, wiring harness for power ground and speaker, Wi-Fi antenna, radio antenna, and a whole slew of inputs for expandability adapters and harnesses. There is also what looked like an empty HDMI hole. The Saita must be recycling some other chassis they have. Connecting the display to the chassis is pretty simple. The chassis features an RGB input, which the mount on the display will slide in and plug into. You'll be able to customize the height, tilt, rotation, and depth of the display. Then use the included screws to secure the display in place.
the 13.3 inch capacitive touchscreen is the largest I've seen for a head unit so far, and it doesn't disappoint. Not only is it highly responsive, but it looks fantastic. I believe it's the first full HD 1920 by 1080 display we've seen on a head unit. We've had a few 720p HD units come in, but the Vivid 10 looks so much better. Overall, I really like the new user interface. It's a lot simpler than previous to site to models with much less going on. The home screen features a new split screen menu featuring the built-in navigation on the left and the right side is your music source streaming from either a USB or Bluetooth and radio tuner. However, a lot of apps are pretty far away from the home screen and far from each other and it requires you to navigate through multiple screens just to get to some. I do wish it was a little more consolidated. And there's this home page button that you can move around, but I couldn't figure out how to get rid of it. Whenever you press it, it brings you home. The built-in navigation is honestly the best I've seen for a head unit. Usually manufacturers and their built-in navs are very laggy and slow. This worked faster than Google Maps and Apple Maps on the head unit, and it looked just as good. The built-in nav also has free continuous updates. To use the Decite to Vivid 13 to its full potential, you need to connect it to a Wi-Fi source. Either use your vehicles if you have Wi-Fi, or simply use your phone as a personal hotspot. The stereo settings control the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. Be aware you will be using your data if you use your phone as a hotspot. Once connected, you can literally do anything you want. Treat the head unit like a tablet or iPad. Google, Gmail, and some other apps are pre-downloaded, but you can access the Google Play Store and download literally whatever you want. I downloaded YouTube and it worked perfectly. Bluetooth allows hands-free calling and wireless music streaming. Simply connect through your smartphone and use the pin code on the display. The Decyta also features an ST7708 radio chip tuner. Volume control is a little odd. The volume down is above the volume up. I've never seen that before on a head unit. Wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto are essential in your upgrade. For wireless connections, connect to the stereo's Bluetooth. Both apps will also work connected to one of the USB cables. Be sure to use the correct USB cable when connecting Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. In my experience with both, Android Auto was a little bit slower than Apple CarPlay on this head unit. Connect to the backup camera and front camera inputs with HD cameras to get the best view possible during parking. This head unit has three USB inputs. The single USB is made specifically for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The other two are designed for music playback from USB thumb drive to playback several kinds of audio and video files, as well as JPEG images. Use the 64 gigabytes of internal storage to save files to the Decyta. All three will charge your devices. Playback of HD video looks great on this display. Android screen mirroring is possible with just a USB cable. Simply download the Easy Connection app, connect to a USB port, and open the Easy Connection app. iPhone and Android screen mirroring is also possible with the RCA AV inputs. 
use these with our QMV HDMI V2. For iPhone, also use a Lightning Digital AV adapter, and USB-C Android, use the Bueller BUC HDMI 6. Links in the bio for all those adapters. The Vivid features Android 10 with a Rockchip PX6 octa-core CPU, 4GB RAM, and a 64GB storage. For audio, the Decipher features a 15-band EQ with presets and a DSP setting, plus other great customizable settings to perfect your sound. Set and customize the color of the touchscreen commands on the left of the display. Font size. Brightness. Night display. Plus change the wallpaper. Pulling down on the top of the display gives fast access to settings and notifications. For expandability, the head unit also supports DVR with the optional recorder. The Vivid 10 is TPMS ready to provide you with wireless tire pressure monitoring system. Install the OBD2 Bluetooth 4.2 car diagnostic tool for onboard live car info. Add a 4G modem to turn the unit into its own Wi-Fi source. All right, let's test the power output of the Vivid 10. The first test we ran was two channels driven at four ohms, 14.4 volts, one kilohertz EQ flat. Our audio precision will generate our signal and measure distortion. At volume 30, our HP 8903B audio analyzer picked up 18.8 .8 watts RMS of continuous power, 1% distortion, and 8.6 volts of output. We can swap from left to right channels. Our AMM1 read 13 watts RMS of continuous power and we drew 4.7 amps of current. Down to 40 hertz, volume 30. Our HP picked up 18.92 watts RMS of continuous power, 1.02% distortion, and 8.62 volts of output. We can swap from left to right channels. Our AMM1 read 16 watts RMS of continuous power, and we drew 4.88 amps of current. Next, we tested the RCA preamp outputs. At 40 hertz, volume 30, we got 3.23 volts with 1.02% distortion. At one kilohertz, volume 30, we got 2.97 volts with 1.01% distortion. Our final test was frequency response. We used our audio precision to run up each frequency. Overall, the Decida performed very well, although we would have loved to see those RCA preamp outputs hit 4 volts. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything in the bio below. If you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button, join the conversation below, and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.